I got broads in Atlanta, Switch with the lean in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the family. Alright, what's up? This is Decoding on TV, and we are back with another video. Today, we are going to be say, not saying goodbye, but just a little um, absent video because I will be leaving tomorrow or when this video is posted. I will be leaving at 8 a.m. today. Um, going to training for, as you can see, the Army, National Guard. And I'm going to training. I ain't going to say the location and all that, but yes, I'll be gone for quite some while, about like four months. So this is a video just letting everybody know why the consistency of my videos, my vlogs and stuff have stopped for a while. But just to let you guys know when I'm back, 2018 is going to be a step up as I've been telling y'all. Can't wait. I'm going to do some traveling and stuff. Possible chance that I might, well definitely might be going to Europe for like a two week, um, like a two week learning film experience thing. So. That'd be something to be waiting for if I decide to do it. Also, by the time I come back, it'd be coming around my birthday, June 6th. Uh, traveling, probably go to Cali. Um, travel for my birthday, something like that. So I'm gonna kind of go over some like some of um, like what you should know about basic training, like so you guys get a gist of what it is. So I'm gonna read a little a couple things. So. Army, the Army basic training has undergone some drastic changes to better uh, to better equip new soldiers with skills that they will need for the uh, deployment. These changes are based on lessons learned about the deployment of Iraq and Afghanistan and continue to evolve to evolve as soldiers must be ready to deploy around the world. So uh, there's a question of how long is a Army basic combat training? So. Army basic combat training is like 10 weeks long, up for um, a traditional nine weeks. So this is not counting the time you will be spent. So in processing and reception, which can last about one to three weeks. So then there's another question of where is army basic training conducted? So there's several army basic combat training locations, including Fort Jackson, uh, Fort Leonard Wood, which is where I'd be going. Uh, Fort uh, Fort Seal, which is in Oklahoma, and Fort Benning, which is in uh, GA, Atlanta. I'm guessing that's Atlanta. And then Fort Jackson's in SC, and Fort Leonard is in Missouri. So that's where you will attend, is primarily dependent upon the location of your follow on events, individual job training. Um, in fact, for certain MOSs, the Army combines basic training, basic combat training, and AIT into a single course called One Station Unit Training, or OSUT, which I'm going through OSUT because I'm going straight through everything basic in AIT. Reception for basic training. When you first arrive at, shoot, at the Army basic training you are assigned a to a reception battle battle line for initial and processing this includes paperwork all the non-essentials the you know you know calculations uh, uniform issues so I'll be getting my uniform and stuff my ha haircut so all this is about to be cut all the way off um, initial tra testing initial training on military and barracks life and more is there anything else? Oh yeah, there's like the physical, ready to physical fitness examinations, uh, assessments. Before you leave reception, you are required to pass an initial physical test. So yeah, those who fail this test are assigned to a fitness training company called the Fat Camp until they can meet the minimal standards required to begin the actual basic training program. Each week of the recruits in the fitness training company has two chances to pass the physical assessment assessment test and move into basic training if they cannot pass after four weeks four weeks and eight tests they may be may be discharged within entry level separation 
So in graduation from Army Basic Training, you'll need to score at least 50 points in each event of the Army or the APFT, which is the Army Physical Fitness Test. Before you graduate AIT Job School, which is a job school, you'll have to score at least 60 in each event. Requirements depends on sex age group. For the age groups of 17 to 21, the basic training graduation standards is 50 points or so push-ups and for two minutes you gotta do 35. Set up for two minutes, you gotta do 47. And two mile run, you gotta get under, you gotta get like a 1636. Yeah. And for females, push-ups for two minutes is 13. Set ups for two minutes is 47. Dang it, I gotta do the same push ups. Huh? Two mile run you have to get under a nineteen thirty-two. Nineteen thirty-two be passing for females. Um, what else? Okay. We're almost done. So we got the basic training phases. Um, your training progresses into three phases. Phase one or red phase. Last is for three weeks. Under the can stand guidance of a drill sergeant. This phase includes just uh, drill and ceremony training, Army Corps values instructions, and a hand combat training, navigation, and assignment of their standard issue weapon. So in phase two, or as they call it, white phase. Soldiers train with their service rifle and other weapons. In phase three, or as they call it, the blue phase, they must pass their PT final and progress to field training. <clears throat> which I cannot wait for. Field training is what I'm really looking forward to. Um, so, leave during basic training, combat training, and initial job training. The Army normally does not grant the first your first leave until you complete both basic training and initial job training. Then a short period of leave is usually authorized before you report to your first duty station. However, if you are in basic training, or job training during the Christmas period, you will normally be granted 10 days of leave as Army basic training and training schools usually close down during this period. So that's the gist of what I'm about to go through. But a lot of, like Hadi was talking about, about leave and stuff, I think those mostly tend to people that are going active duty and going into a further training. Other than that, that's the gist of how basic training and AIT goes for the U.S. military careers in Army choices. So, that is all that I have for you today. Um, again, this is Decoding on TV. We are about to be out of here. Before I leave, make sure you guys thumbs up, subscribe, and keep sharing all my uh, previous vlogs and videos make sure y'all share keep watching them getting them out there grow it doesn't mean y'all have to stop watching my videos I understand that I'm not putting out new footage but you know the tension and the weight will be worth it because when I get back like I said we're gonna have a lot of new things going possible things getting set in place so thank you guys for watching I love you guys and we will be back very soon Rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike.